Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. If you're a Squarespace web designer, you may never know that you might need to hide the hamburger menu from the mobile version of your Squarespace website until it actually happens to you, until you actually come across a situation where you're like, I don't want this hamburger menu to show up because there is no menu. There's nothing to look at. Now, if you're a DIYer designing your own website and this is you, you're probably thinking, why doesn't Squarespace provide a feature that allows you to hide the hamburger menu from mobile? I've been building Squarespace websites for a while now, and only just recently did I come across a situation where I actually needed to hide the hamburger menu from mobile. So in this blog post, I'm going to show you how to hide the hamburger menu from the mobile version of your Squarespace website using a code snippet. So here we are on my client's website, and it's pretty cool. The service that she is providing is offering food delivery specifically to people who are renting select rental units from Bretton Woods Vacation. The nearest restaurant is like an hour drive away. But she happens to have a day job in the town where all of these restaurants are. So what she's going to do is pick up food orders for people staying in these units and deliver it to them. And her business is called Diane's Delivery. So it's pretty cool. But we're expecting that most people are going to be placing orders on their phones. So when I designed this website, I really designed it almost to function like an app. Optimal functionality happening on the phone. And it's all on one page. We want this to be really easy because there are a few steps for her customers to follow and we don't want to confuse them. So you'll see that when I select the hamburger menu, it's blank. There's literally nothing here. So I don't want to have a hamburger menu at all. Now, I suppose one thing I could do would be to just go in and customize the color of the hamburger to blend in with the background, but I don't trust that. And adding a code snippet is so easy. And let me show you how. So when you log in, in the dashboard, you're going to select website, and then you're going to scroll all the way down and select website tools and custom CSS. And then you're going to paste the code snippet that appears under the video in my blog post. See how that just disappeared? I'll show you again. I'm going to paste the code snippet right here, and it's gone. I told you that was easy. All right, you guys, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please give it a like. Maybe share it with someone who you think could use some help with this. But most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.